All right, so I've taken these headphones off. I know I've already done an unboxing, but I'm going to try to keep it all in one video because I'm going to do the same thing I did for the trio on this. So unbox it, show everything that's in the box, and then I'm going to install it and then build the fan noise at all the RPMs and max overclock. This one I care about, so it's different. Uh, the trio had no power limit. It 102, 2% doesn't do shit. It's, it's a trash card. The trio 90 is basically a, it, it's using a 250 watt Turing cooler on a 350 watt card. It's basically already maxed out. It's garbage. Don't buy it. Anyway, anyway, this card, beautiful. All right, so this is the actual box that it comes in. You know, got, uh, you know, this nice, like, this part's, uh, you know, kind of like, it's like elevated. It's like, uh, you know, you ever heard of like, like a $20 bill or like a $100 bill? You know what I'm saying? Then you feel the texture. It's nice. But yeah, let's, let's go to the back of the box. And it shows you, you know, you know, more stuff about it. Cooling, you know, how it comes with two HDMI 2.1 ports, you know? Yeah, yeah, I mean, so we'll put the box over here. The actual GPU, what we'll put over here. The box inside the box. This end just says tricks. It doesn't really do anything special. What's inside the box is what is special. Now we open this up, right? Go inside. We have the plastic wrap that I've already taken off, as, as you know. Like I said, I was rushing. Uh, I, I didn't know if I wanted to. I mean, I already opened it before, so I'd have to rebox it. And like, I already did it on a box. You know what I mean? So the little plastic protector. But you see in here, we have the Asus little box, right? And then open this up gently and you check it out slide this out look at this comes with the little rog little triangle i don't want to call it a protractor but i have no name for it so i call it a protractor you have your limited edition blue eyes rogue strix dragon as you can see hold this gotta get this in view it's even got attributes you can see it's overclocking capability and it's heat dissipation capability to get it uh, a true five out of five you need to water block it or you need to purchase the rog matrix not out yet and then the back there you go I don't know what that barcode scanning does, so I'll have to check. Camera won't focus, it's fine. But this limited edition Yu-Gi-Oh card is cool. And then you get this little manual, and then you get this uh, thank you for purchasing an ROG Strix graphics card. Then it shows you how to set up GPU tweak too. And basically just, you know, how to install the card really. It's nothing special. Actually, no, it's not even GPU tweak too. It just tells you how to plug in the power to the GPU and that's it. It's nothing special. We're gonna slide this all back into the box. The only thing I'm going to leave out is the Yu-Gi-Oh card for one second, slide the manual back in, and Yu-Gi-Oh card and protractor, I'll put over here, because those are cool. Now close this up, pop this back in, and over here, you have your limited edition Rogue Strix ruler. There's no other way to measure things in life without a Rogue Strix ruler. How else do you think I knew that this was a 24.5 inch monitor? You know, you gotta, you gotta measure it with your Rogue Strix ruler, you know? Gotta have a Rogue Strix ruler to go with your, you know, your 360 hertz Asus monitors. Put it at the back, hope this shows up. I actually just realized I don't have the lights on. Unfortunately, the lighting is much better now, and I just realized that. Anyway, back to the Asus Rogue Strix ruler. So here, you can check that out again on my camera. There you go. Now, I don't know what the weird hieroglyphs on it mean. Maybe somebody from Asus can let me know, because I have no idea. Come on, camera focus. I have no idea what the coordinates mean either, but hey, probably means something. We're going to put it over there with the Yu-Gi-Oh card. Now, inside the box as well, we have a uh, ROG power cable tie thing. So yeah, pretty much it. And then we're going to box back up. It goes like this. One second, one second. Just want to make sure I can pack this properly, because I don't want to do it again. Okay, and this anti-static box like this, box on top of the box like this, and I forgot to put the boxes, little plastic protectors for the PCIe and the HDMI and the DisplayPort cable. I'm only connecting two monitors, this uh, monitor over here, 360 hertz, Asus Strix, and the OLED. But, yeah, I mean, this is pretty much the best games you can play. 1080p 360 and 4K 120 with G-Sync. Both of them G-Sync. This one's obviously HDR. This one's booty HDR. But, yeah, yeah. Competitive, casual. Ultimate casual. But, um, yeah, yeah. Um, give me two seconds, and I'll install a card in my case. All right, so here's the actual GPU. And then let's get this on the camera. And, yeah, that's the lighting. It is as nice in person as it is on camera. It looks really nice. The shroud is really nice. I know some people probably want a white one, but just, just look at this. I'm going to place it like this. Is that on camera? Okay, good. Is this, that's better frame. And then look at my keyboard. See that? And it matches my case. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. But we're going to the black thing. 
I did order a white keyboard, got it. I ordered a white mouse, but my white case was canceled, so. The white build is canceled. I'm glad I didn't order a white standing desk, because then I would have been actually very upset like some people. Anyway, so I did rush a little ahead of myself, and I did put this little IO shield thing. That is what you need to use to install it in my case. I'm gonna show this end. This is the back. Remember, I only took out two of the little port protectors because I'm only gonna be using two ports. This is the bottom of the heatsink. This is the back of it. The ROG Strix labeling is upside down, so let me just flip it over. Here you go. Serial number, labeling, pass through, air blows through this to escape maximum heat dissipation. This whole thing looks like it's plastic, but it's actually aluminum. And I thought it was cheap, honestly, compared to the 90FE. Let me just go get that real quick. So if you look at the 90FE, you can see how this thing's just a chunky, not, like, knock to a heat sink, essentially. And the sides feel like those cnc aluminum cases. It feels nice. Now here's the, um, the also the other side. And then this is what it looks like from the front. And remember, this is the fan that swoops up the hot air through the heatsink over here. And then this one sucks in air and then blows it out the back. That's what the heatsink looks like. Basically, just like a Chromax, you know, knock to a heatsink. All of the display ports are like the, you know, video outputs are along that single edge. And then the whole thing is just a heatsink. The only con about this card is the power limit. Even if you water block it, there's not really a point unless you shunt mod it. But this heatsink is like, it's awesome. Like, it's actually awesome. Now I'm going to put this over here and grab this again. So you can see MLC um, or whatever the caps were, I completely forgot what the debate was about. SP caps and they use something else. I, I really don't remember. I don't really care because I've had no issues. ROG logo. This part doesn't light up, it's just glossy. The only part of this card that lights up, once again, the shroud and the fans. And the only part of this card that lights up is this whole Apple ID touch ID bar thing, the touch bar. Now it is not actually a touch bar, it just lights up and it looks nice, it matches the Corsair RGB, I think I've already shown that. Anyway, so this is enough showing this. I'm gonna install this and then do those synthetic benchmarks and everything, the case. All right, boys and girls, it was a bit difficult to install, but here it is. Oh man, you can't see anything. You see it now? Wow, it's a tall boy and I don't have a wide angle lens. <sighs> All right, I'll just move it back so you can see it better. Move the keyboard here. Now let's rip this case. Is it visible now? Sort of, I guess. I don't want to take it off the chair because if I do, then it might mess up everything. I'm going to have to do the angle again anyway. For under. So let's just hope that this is great. I don't think that looks terrible. Can I bring it closer? Yes, we can. Too close? Absolutely. Is this good? It's acceptable. Yeah, that's what it looks like mounted on the XT. That's the Strix. This is my hand. How many fingers? I can barely reach the second fan. If I was LeBron, it'd be like the whole thing. But um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. And I'm going to connect the wires. Power cables are right here. And yeah. Two seconds. going to just hook this up. All right, so I, I got my 28 inches on the tape measure. I measure it from the GPU till the phone, all right? So it's the same thing as the Drio. I understand that this looks bad. I, I swear to you that I imagined this looking a lot better in my head when I visualized getting all these cards and getting this case built. I was like, dude, it's going to look amazing with the camera angle, man. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, we'll, we'll turn that on. This is the card. That's the RGB thing. Bleeds into the fans. You can probably barely see, but we'll boot this into... Um, Playboard cable's connected, right? All I did was connect the GPU, riser should be attached. Why am I not getting a signal? No, oh, this DisplayPort cable is connected. Did I do something wrong? Maybe it's recognizing because I hooked up a new graphics card. Maybe it takes a little bit. Hmm, I wonder if I messed something up. That's my keyboard. Move this GPU over because this is a part of it. I mean, we can leave it on this side of the desk. Is it visible? No, right? Yeah, you can't even see the other part. Why is it not detecting? It says actually no display port input connected. Oh, wow. The cable literally wasn't plugged in. Wow, that's a, it, it, it like slid out a little bit because I hooked up a, the power cable and it hooked pressure. I did connect it now. Well, it's not really in messing things up here, dude. Hold on, let me turn on the TV. No, I didn't mess anything up. It just booted on the TV. 
All right. Yeah. And now the internet works. Uh, we, we, we resolved the issue. There was, um, you know, I had to install a new modem and all that. And I'll boot up times by everything over there. All right. Let me just measure the distance one more time. I did move GPU, GPU to the mic. Yeah, it's 28 inches. Same thing. I have the, the PC up, comes up. Um, Set up 3D mark. Let me pull up Aces G Tweet Do. We'll use the proper software. All right. So as you can see, it is stock. Is that even visible on the camera? Yeah, I guess barely. So GPU is 29 degrees Celsius. I mean, this video is probably recorded like six hours after the gaming extreme. No, maybe like like 10 hours, man. It's basically the same thing. December 29th. Uh, one second. The time is incorrect. 1 27 p.m. and yeah we're gonna do these all stock one second let me just pull up 3d mark real quick my hardware info is doing some really wonky stuff the font is super small i have no idea why i have no idea how to fix it load it up all weird dude so this is online fans are on auto we're gonna do the same thing as yesterday on auto it's taking a little while so let me just so the first test we're gonna do is times by and then times by extreme. But the CPU, like I said yesterday, oh my bad, it's the same day, it's just a few hours have passed. CPU is just game boost, RAM is game boost. What does that mean? Remember, the CPU profile is for the 10900K that MSI made for basically for layman, you know? If you don't know how to tweak it and you don't wanna put any time in, God bless, you know, because you actually love yourself, then yeah, just click that. It's done. Um, same thing for the RAM, XMP profile. It's done. It's better than stock. And you're still getting like 80% of the way there. Yeah, maybe the last 20% or the 25% really, if you could squeeze out of it, great. But dude, like it's still better than nothing, right? And then uh, what's it called? Yeah, I mean, you, you got a working system. I mean, this is pretty quiet. I have no idea what the fans are moving at, but like I said, we're going to go stock. I'm going to be honest with you right now, that was a lot louder than I thought it was going to be. Now I'm starting to believe that there could be turbulence with the fan noise hitting fans on the other fans and then it's causing like, you know, this is blowing air this way and then this is blowing air this way. So if, if, if all of the fans were just, you know, exhausting this way and then the other side, same thing. Yeah, there's definitely, you know, some, some turbulence with the air going this way, hitting that. Would it be that drastic? I don't know, man, but it sounds really loud. I wasn't hoping for it to be this bad, to be honest. All right, so time spy ran. Nope, time spy didn't complete yet. I'm pretty sure that's the GPU noise, man. It's not, it's not these fans. These fans are barely moving. No man, I'm 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 feeling it. The fans on the rat are barely moving. I swear on my life, dude. I mean, it's proof if it's making if it's this loud on Times by Extreme, dude. It's barely moving. They're knocked towards man. They barely. One second. No, it's it's definitely the GPU, man. It's moving that heat. Yeah, the case looks nice, but damn, bro, there is some turbulence. You know what most of the noise could be from? It's got that pass-through design, so the air could be going through here on the back, and it's pushing it through this, and all that noise could be caused by those cables I have over there. But it moves heat. Heat sink is moving heat. I feel I feel air from each side to the bottom. Well, the bottom is cold. It's cold. All right, we'll wrap this up once it's done. I'll be back. All right, boys. So this is out of the box stock. 
19,000 times spy. And now it's going to show me the averages and CPU score pretty much the same as yesterday, 14,485. So it's like 14.5. Graphic score is 20,106. Now we're going to scroll down. We're going to look at GPU temperature. What the hell is up, man? 72C, 7081C, 77C, 85, 90C. There's definitely something wrong here. I might have to switch these fans, dude, because it's dumping. There's no way that my, the CPU heat is that much. It's dumping that much heat into this. The, the, the benchmark doesn't even, it barely, <laughs> I, that's the only conclusion. I mean, but the numbers are still good. Or this thing's just heavily inaccurate. Hold on. Let me use the Asus thing to measure it. Okay, bro. There's definitely something happening here. Because even in the Asus GPU tweak, it's saying 92C. Dude, yeah. <laughs> I guess rad fans on this intaking onto the GPU when it's air-cooled is absolutely terrible. But if you have two 360 rads pulling air in and blowing onto the motherboard VRMs and stuff, I mean, it's fine. It's still going to bounce and make the heat dissipate everywhere, but yeah. Looks like I'm going to have to mount the rad. I don't know if I can mount the rad directly onto the mount on one end. And then I'm just going to have the fans intaking on this side. And then the fans pulling air off. I might just do that because then I can swap out the fans whenever I want. Um, so if I wanted to mount three Arctic fans, I could do that. No, I still don't. I'm not buying this. I guess if I pulled air from here and off. Wow. Okay, whatever. We're still going to run all the numbers like this. So it's consistent. I mean, the last GPU I plan on using anyway won't even be an open air blowing like that anyway. It wouldn't matter. The two cards that I'm in between are the Founder's Edition and the Kingpin. I could care less. So the Founder's Edition dissipates heat this way. So against the spine of this and it would blow air through this and then dissipate it throughout the sides. And then this is intaking air. So this would be taking that heat and then sucking and blowing it out of the case anyway. Actually, hold on, this is intaking. So it would be, those would be fighting, but it's an open air test pit, so it doesn't really matter. Intake on open air, that's how you get lower temps. And then the other half of the heat would be at the top, blowing it up the top. So yeah, man, I'm still, yeah, the best way if you're running a, an open air cooler, like these three slot, whatever, and the three fans, the axle fans is, if it's blowing heat in every direction, dispersing heat, then you would want the fans to also be dispersing that heat like that. Yeah, whatever. It's all good. It's all good. But the GPU was holding like 1935 to 1850. CPU held five years the whole time. I'm gonna leave everything as it is, but we're gonna save this and we're gonna go to RTX 30 series, new folder, caps lock, ROG, ASUS, ROG, strix, 3090, OC, because that's the model. And then in here, we're gonna make a folder and we're gonna call that one stock, stock. And then inside here, we're gonna name this regular times by save. Okay, so that's done. Now we're gonna do times by extreme. Once again, it is 1080p 360 hertz. Nothing in this benchmark is gonna hit 360 FPS. It doesn't really matter. I'm wondering if I should leave this one running. I'll pause it. I'll leave the Port Royal one running. I like that one. And then it's shorter. All right, as you can see, times by extreme has completed. And the score is 9,553. Graphic score is 10,301. CPU score is 6,771. And I don't know why it's not showing me the average and the best. I am connected to the internet. All right, anyway, we're going to scroll down. I have no idea why it's saying GPUs hitting 82C, 89C, 92C. Wow. Wow, dude. No, I've, I've never seen a GPU ever hit that high before. I guess the, I, I don't know, I just, uh, the hot air, I guess, pulling from the rat, I don't know. That, to, to make it, to make it that bad. Yeah, CPU held 5 gigahertz the whole time. Mm, CPU temperature was like, I don't know, I just find it hard to believe a CPU is really dumping that much heat on it. 59C, 48C, I mean, it's CPU is like 50C, like, and then at the end of the test, it's like 80C, 84C, like, that's the CPU portion, but yeah, I'm just super shocked, really. Um, wow, super shocked. I'll we'll save that as well. Now I'm making, now it's making me think I should have just ran all of these tests on that open air test bench I had, even though I used to make fun of it all the time, everybody hated it, but it worked. And yeah, I should have just ran all the tests on there. There's no point to rush the build this and do everything. All right, we'll do Port Royale and then same thing. Oh, I said I'd leave this running. All right, we'll leave this running on auto. 
I really am amazed that it's making that big of a difference. Three rad fans sucking heat off of the rad and dissipating it onto the, you know, three slot coolers. Like, wow, I just, I had no idea. So if I'm going to do an air cooler, I need to flip the fan to suck the heat off the, and blow it through the rad. I'll do that. After we're done with all the tests. Consistency, remember. So that was the whole run. It's pretty short. Yeah. There's there's really nothing I can say. I know it's unacceptable. I know. Graphic score is 13,000. I mean, well, it's only score. It's times five. So, I mean, my bad. Poor Real. Dude, that, that is, this is actually insane. If you look at it, C, CPU temperature is like 51C, 57C the whole time. And the GPU, it starts off at like 70C, then ramps up, and then it's holding 91C, and it's just throttling. Oh my god. The whole clock rate is like 1845, 1830, 1770, 1800. Like, it's doing this whole test that those garbage scores that they show you, they're like, our boost clock is 1860. Oh, no, 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 my bad, my bad. The 4 they went 3 Ultra 3090 is. Our boost clock ultra card is 1800 megahertz. Like, that's what this is running at like 90C. I mean, I guess that's impressive, right? But it's still, trust me, I don't know if I recorded any other times of me trying to show overclocks, but wow, dude, this is, this is really atrocious. I would have never expected this. It's probably just because the fans are intaking on the rad. Wow. All right, anyway, we'll save this. Port Royale. Okay, save. And now we're going to run through Fire Strike, Fire Strike Extreme, Fire Strike Ultra, and then uh, Assassin's Security Valhalla. Even if I change the testing methodology right now, it would make the Gimme X Trio 3090 results inaccurate. And I would, yeah, I mean, I would, I would make it look worse, like without letting all the cards go through the same test. I can't have that. I'm going to be honest with you, I'm, I'm probably not changing this fan orientation. I, I told you, I'm mounting another rat on the side doing the same thing. Now, if the temps are bad then, then, then I'll change, but that's, that's personal system. It's not test. If I was keeping this card, you know, on this, in this orientation, I'd change it in a heartbeat. I will pause this and I will just show the scores because I don't think anybody cares anymore. All right, so you can see the fire strike score. It is 31,765. Graphic score is 46,206. Physics score is 29,671. Combined score, 9,810. So what is impressive is I'm still like in the middle of the pack with most of these people, even though the GPU is running this hot, which is kind of insane. I mean, this, you shouldn't be doing this, but still doing a good job. Look at that, dude. GPU is like 85C, 91C. Like you should not be doing this. Wow. GPU holds five gigahertz. I don't know what to say. <laughs> okay. But yeah, we're going to save this. Fire strike, fire strike, regular enter and then we're gonna do fire strike beam and then ultra 
All right, feedback. All right, so Fire Strike Extreme finished. Score is 21,880. Graphics score 23,763. Physics score 29,491. Combined score 11,044. And as you can see, it's a little bit ahead of the pack, which is that's just uh, I don't know. That's just not good. We're gonna look at GPU temperature. Starts off like 66, and then it goes up to like 89, 91. Dude, this is so bad. Anyway, CPU holds five gigahertz the whole thing, whole test. And CPU is like 45, 47, 50 peak. And then the last part at the end where it actually is CPU intensive, it's like 70 C. Yeah. Clock rate was like 1875. GPU is basically like 1860, 1875, 1890, yeah, 1920, yeah. So basically what people usually undervolt their clock rate to, which is an absolute pain. Let me save this. Fire Strike Extreme. Extreme. Okay. I'm gonna do Fire Strike Ultra, and then I'm gonna do Assassin's Creed Valhalla, and then the fan noise thing, and then I guess I can try an overclock thing. Mm. The tricks people care about, I care about it, but in this messed up configuration, is there even a point? Now, there's probably gonna be somebody who's really upset if I don't do it, but I'm gonna be honest, I kinda don't care. If this was my bay, then I'd make it work, but not the bay, not the bay. My cousin got really lucky on his Strix 3090, man. He he got some fantastic binning. That thing's like just below my kingpin. Honestly, if that thing had the 520 watt power limit BIOS for the LN2 by like, you know, the stock kingpin. Oh my God, I said everything like Yoda backwards. If that thing had the LN2 520 watt kingpin stock BIOS, right? You don't avoid your warranty by flashing a thousand watt BIOS, which the Strix 3090 OC can handle. Yeah, I think he could make up for that like extra 60 megahertz. It, he got lucky, man. He got lucky. My friend went through two Strix 90s, you know? He got lucky, bro. He got lucky. I did hear, okay, so two things that could probably be causing this issue besides the fans, because I, I don't really buy that. Mm, I don't know. Some people said that the mounting is kind of booty on some Strix models, and it could lead to that issue. I don't know. I don't know. But at idle, it was doing a pretty good job, like 29C. That was better than the Gaming Extreo. But I guess it's just this scenario, man. Anyway, I'll pause it and then load it up once it's done. And this is the Fire Strike Ultra. So we have 12,446. Again, around the middle of the pack. And it is 12,357 for the graphics score. 29,077 for physics. And combined score is 6,901. I'm speaking proper English in this video, I just realized. Uh, it's probably because I'm eating. I think I'm just like super dehydrated. And then I get like really tired. And then I like, I start mumbling. 85, 89, 91, 50C, 86, dude, ah, oh, man, that's terrible. I mean, the GPU loads, like, you know, 98%, you know, 99, like, all that, like, it's supposed to be, but CPU temperature's, like, 45C, 48, 42, at the end, 65, even in the CPU intensive physics part, it's, like, 73C peak, and then, like, 70C. GPU clock rate throughout the whole thing was, like, 1920, drops, 1845, 1890, 1860, 1890s, yeah, so around there. So, I was on my laptop, but here you go. This is the game loaded up. Yeah, dude, it really is, like, 81C right now. That is ridiculously loud. I, I kind of feel bad that I'm even going to upload this or show anybody this, but consistent... You know, it didn't even go from a test, it went to a torture test. 1080p, 360Hz, 200% resolution scale, Our graphics are ultra high, everything's maxed out. Um, as of December 29th, 2.18pm. One second, I have to sneeze. Alright, so I had to pause it, I had to sneeze. So now we're going to run through the benchmark and we're going to see how high the score is. Yeah, it's funny, these are the temperatures you get from those gaming laptops. <laughs> Yeah, dude, it's holding 1860 megahertz at 90 degrees Celsius. Pretty impressive, right? That's what people undervolt their uh, GPUs to. That's actually really impressive. I've never, I've never done this before. It's actually pretty cool. Everything's been a different experience from Ryzen to this. Everything. 
I nothing turned out the way I expected it. I mean, I know the Intel CPU worked, but I didn't know what I was doing when I direct died and all that. This is cool. Everything's been new. Everything's been a new experience. At least that's cool. You learn. see what this war was. i9, 10900K, the Strix 3090OC, ROG PG259 QN monitor, uh, Windows 10 Enterprise, drivers 460.89, FPS average was 63, minimum was 41, high was 153, 0.1% low is 43, 1% low is 48, but yeah, pretty much it. So I'm going to Alt F4 this game now, which is very high. Now this is the portion where I can do the overclock numbers for everything. We'll, we'll, we'll just do one run for time spot and, and we'll see how this comes up. So we're going to go to my profile. Do I have a profile? No. Okay, we're going to max out GPU voltage. It's not like it can handle this. We're going to do 20 gigabits for the memory plus 500. Apply this at least. Go down to GPU temp target, power target. This one can do 123, you know, a real number. Save it and we'll do GPU clock. I don't remember if I did plus 50 for that trio. We'll just do plus 50, man. And we'll see how this performs, if it works at all. And we go back to 3D mark. We're going to go to benchmarks and we're going to run time spy. And we're going to see if we get a bigger number. All right. And we'll let this run through. Still loading. All right. I, th I think I was just, uh, I'll leave it up, I guess. I was going to pause and just show the number at the end, but I guess everybody wants to see how loud this gets in this thermally challenged situation. Fan profile is still on auto. Oh, forgot to show the fan noise. 25, 50, 75%, 100%, zero. Car's got some meaty coil on, but the fans are so loud, you can't even hear the coil on. So, you know. Yeah, this thing's just ramping up to 100% fan speed, man. Like this thing is just really just trying to move all the heat it can. It's holding 77 degrees, 79 degrees Celsius right now. GPU clock rates like 1950. Yeah, it's gonna pass this run. I should've done like plus 80 or plus 100 just so it crashed, you know, we can move on. I don't know how much it can handle when it's running that hot. I've never done this before.
Okay, time spy finished. It took a while. Probably just heard um, a lot of wind noise. Probably thought it was a hurricane. Score is 1944, 20,146 for graphics. CPU score is 14,541. That's actually a little bit higher than it was before. Nothing's changed, um, obviously. Been here, I've been here. Just eating oatmeal. Uh, GPU temperature, like 91 C peak, man. It is. Yeah, there's nothing we can do. I just have to commit. 87. 70, 77, 83. CPU temperatures are like 45, 58, 52, 51, 55. Yeah. I'll try pushing it to plus 100 and see if this crashes. But I will save this now as OC overclock folder. Overclock. And in here, we're going to put time spy plus, plus 50. Save. And I should have saved the memory, but it is too late now. I can do it next time because I won't forget. Now we're going to do a time spy run and then I will, you know, if it crashes, I'll, I'll start recording it crash. Good news, boys. I knew it was going to crash. I told you. Plus 100 crash. Now I'll do plus 80 for you just to prove that something. Plus 50 worked. Plus 100 crash. You should be doing in 10 increments, but we are pressed for time. Now I should have saved. What am I going to save a zero? It doesn't matter. Here, we're going to do plus 80. See how this performs. If it crashes, I'll let you know. But look, the numbers are going to be slightly better. It's not going to be better than my kingpin. And with the three, two rads on there, it's, it's not going to be better. I, I, I don't. Okay. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So it is scaling up a bit. I'm not going to push it anymore. I, I think probably G plus 90 might crash, but 19,164 graphics score, 20,382 CPU score, 14,318. So that actually dropped a little bit, but you can check out GPU is 83, 85, 87 at the end peak like 91 really shouldn't be this hot but whatever 54 50 58 there's probably some dude out there who has these bad thermals in his case obviously he's never gonna upload it but yeah we'll save this time spy score plus 80 and then plus 500 on the memory and then obviously max power target max voltage i know yeah i'm just gonna cut it off there yeah i mean you know how it is. I mean, oh, fan noise, fan noise. Hold on a second. Let me move this over. And we're going to do manual on the middle fan and the side fans. And we're going to set this to zero. Fan off. Fans are still spinning. Okay. We're going to try setting these to 20. Let's see if I can get these to turn off. The fans are off, all right? 28 inches. The mic is 28 inches away from the GPU. Yeah, cars are pretty loud driving by, right? All right, now we're gonna set this to 40%. Hopefully that actually does 40. Fans are on 40%. Honestly, they're moving, and I, I really don't hear them. I don't know if you guys can. We're going to be doing increments of 10 right now, just so I pick up everything. 50% now. Now, I, I still barely hear it, man, honest, 60%. Eighty percent. Ninety. 
Ninety percent. And now a hundred percent. And now it's set to the user defined profile. Yeah, but even at this distance, uh, until 60, I, I, I really can't hear it. So that's, that's nice. If, if you guys want to run that, it's probably the best thing you're probably going to get out of this video. Um, the bidding on this card is pretty shit. It crashed at plus 100. My cousin can do plus 160. So yeah, the bidding on this Strix is booty. Um, we're, we're not going to even entertain this any longer. In terms of fan noise, that, that will actually probably help somebody out. And then in terms of uh, scores at stock, you know, you can still see something. You can see in a terrible torture test what numbers you could still possibly get. And remember, I, I, th I think this is all perfectly doable for a layman. Yeah. No. Now, once we start tweaking everything, you know, and you tweak the intel, you know, you put this on a block or, you know, you properly have the airflow, uh, you, you, you can do things to improve. But, I mean, what I get like, what am I going to get, 20% more scores? Maybe 10%? Probably 10%. But still not bad. You, you don't want to be doing this. I'm just giving an example. But, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Uh, and I think that's a wrap. Okay. Thank you for watching and hope you enjoyed. If not, it is what it is. And peace.